Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Solar. So today we're going to be testing out the Renogy Shadow Flux anti-shading solar panel. So if you guys aren't familiar with Renogy, I believe they're based out of California and they've been around for quite a while and they're probably best well known for 12 volt solar power systems like ones that you would put inside of a camper or your vehicle or maybe like a small cabin. And Renogy was the first brand of inverter that I had ever purchased. And since then I've bought several of their charge controllers as well. So this here is a 200 watt solar panel and most solar panels, uh, the majority of them are what they, they have what they call perk cells, which is like passive emitter rear contact, but it's probably the most common solar cell used out there right now. And this one actually has N type cells. And the perk cells are about 22.5% efficient, and this one is, is actually 25% efficient. So it has more efficient solar cells. And then most perk cells are like nine bus bars, and this one actually has, every one of these lines is a bus bar. And there's a total of 16. So 16 bus bars instead of nine. And the way this is constructed, the anti-shading technology is actually uh, cell level. And this is like one solar cell right here. Now a lot of 200 watt panels may not have any shadow canceling effects at all. Like a little bit of shadow could cancel out most of the, of the solar panel. And a lot of your bigger residential panels, they may have like three bypass diodes installed in those. So it can only cancel out like a third of the panel at a time. So this one has a, a greater level of that shadow canceling technology built into it. So this here is a standard nine bus bar 200 watt solar panel with perk cells. So the easiest way that I can explain solar panel efficiency is that like a certain amount of wattage, like 200 watt panels, for instance, you can make that 200, if it's more efficient, you can make that 200 watts in a smaller surface area. So when we look at these, since this one is more efficient, you can tell that it's actually a smaller panel overall. Let's go ahead and lay it on top. So now that I've got this laid out on top, you can see the Renogy panel is about an inch and a half wider, but this one is about six inches taller. It, there's definitely more surface area on this panel. And that has to do with the end type cells and the 16 bus bars. This panel is like 7% uh, smaller in size. Plus it's about 10% lighter than a standard 200 watt panel. So now we'll head outside, it's a nice sunny day, and we'll do a comparison between a standard 200 watt panel and then the Renogy Shadow Flux panel. And we'll see how they do it, you know, comparison from full sun to different types of, of shade. All right, I think I got everything set up out here to test the panels now. So I've got both of our solar panels. We've got the Renogy Shadow Flux, and then we just got a standard uh, Perk 200 watt panel. And they're both at 35 degrees. First thing I want to do is it's about 1.30 in the afternoon and I'll just show you the sky. Completely blue sky, there is no clouds right now. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to plug in each one of these in full sun and we're going to see what the output is right now. And to get the wattage of the solar panel, we're using a Blue Yeti AC200L. I just got a heat gun on here, I'm just trying to drain the battery down uh, before we start. The battery's down to 90%, so I think we can go ahead and plug these in. All right, we got the Shadow Flux panel plugged in. All right, give the Blue Yeti a second. And we're running about 169, 170 watts right now. So now I'll plug in the standard panel and we'll see what wattage it's outputting. Well, that panel don't have quite as many watts. It's got 130 watts in full sun. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this one off just in case. I'm kind of surprised that it's reading so low. Nah, about the same, 133 watts. So that's our starting point for both panels. We'll go ahead and start to shadow each one and we'll see how it's affected. So I've got this trash can here and it's gonna simulate like maybe a chimney with the shadow just going over the panel a little bit. So let me just put that on there. You can see we've just shadowed the bottom like three and a half rows right there. Now what are we outputting? 19. 15, 19 watts, that dropped considerably. Hopefully I remember those numbers. So, um, what was that? Was that 19 watts? 
divided by 133 of the original, it's down to 14.2% of what the original output was. So it, it dropped a lot. All right, Shadow Flux panels plugged back in and it's right at 169 watts again. Now we'll put our shade on here. There you go, you can see we're just doing like the bottom three rows. All right, there we go. We are at 113 watts. So 113 watts divided by the original 169, it's still a 66% of the output. And what was the other one, like 14%? Yeah, huge difference. So you can see that shading has a huge effect on solar panels, and most of the time just a small little area of shade will make that solar panel drop to almost zero. And we've seen that with the first one when it dropped to 14% of the original output, but the shadow flux panel is still at 66%, two thirds output. So that's a huge improvement uh, over what a normal solar panel would do. So now let's move it again, and we're gonna shade quite a bit more. All right, we moved our solar panels under the porch here. So now when we look at them, you can see that the top third is shadowed and the bottom two thirds is in the sun. That may be a little hard to tell, but that's probably about twice as much shading as what we had with the half circle shadow of the trash can. So this is gonna drop it more. So the shadow flux panel is now outputting 67 watts. So 67 watts divided by the original 169 watts, we are outputting 39.6%, so almost 40% output. Um, so now let's check the other panel and see how bad it, how low it went. All right, we're all wired up to the standard panel and the output is only 14 watts. The wattage on that panel is so low, it's probably not gonna get much lower the more and more we shade it. So 14 watts divided by the original 133, we are now outputting 10.5% compared to the other panel at about 40%. So big difference between the two. All right, so I moved the solar panels back out in full sun again. And this time I'm just going to shadow just the corner, just one single cell, and we'll see the difference. So we're on the Renogy Shadow Flux. You can see we're back up to around 170 watts. Let's see if I can get this positioned. All right, hopefully you can see we are just like half of one cell. All right, you can see we're around 160 watts. 160 divided by 170 watts. Roughly um, still 94% output. All right, we're wired back into the standard panel and about the same as earlier, 134 watts. And once again, we're shading about a half of a cell. The shadow is not touching any other cells but that one. And the standard panel is outputting 99 watts. 99 divided by 133, 75% output. Just by a half a cell, it dropped 25% of the output. So you can definitely tell that the shadow flux panel is not affected by partial shade as much as a standard panel. And just a little bit of shade, you can see that it's detrimental to a normal solar panel. So in a previous video, I built a, you know, a waterproof enclosure with a 12 volt power solar power system in it. And where I put that at, I've got one 200 watt solar panel, one of these older style, charging it, but it's a very shady location. There's this big tulip tree and the panel's always got like some sort of partial shade on it till, till afternoon, really. And then it gets a little bit of full sun. And I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace it with this Renogy panel. And I think that's gonna work out way better considering, considering half of the day it's in partial shade. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing with this panel. And I think it's gonna work out perfect in that spot. So Renogy makes two of these Shadow Flux solar panels. I think one's 120 watts and then we have the 200 watt panel. And if you guys are interested in those type of solar panels, I'll put like links to those in the description down below. If I end up with any coupon codes or something, I'll put that down in the description below as well. But I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.